Fuck yeah, Sir Ike. About time you showed up. They came to our aid. Now a large no get Lucia back in one piece. I'll deploy the knights at once. Whew. Thank goodness. Yeah, it must have been hard on her. Had a hard whatever, it must have been hard on her. Sir Ike, if you haven't come to help, I would have lost one of my dearest friends. Thank you so much. We were happy to do it, and Bastion pays well for mercenary work. Bastion? Yeah, the Count of Fair knew about Lupix plotting before he left for Dane. Bastion guessed that if he left the country, the rebels would feel confident enough to make them move. Yep, classic Bastion. <laughs> yep, so he had to stay hidden in order for this boost to work. Now, Lucia has a new hairstyle. That's okay. I've learned a lot from this. I hope to keep them out of harm's way and never make the same mistakes again. Good to hear. The rebel army will be eradicated. We cannot allow them to sow the seeds of discontent again. Would you like to hire the mercenaries? That's okay. The Royal Knights will do it. But my duty as Queen demands that it be done. People will learn to accept that. I respect your devotion to me. Don't need me then? Well, Ike can go home and be happy. Whatever. Sir Ike, before you leave, there's something I need to talk to you about. <clears throat> when you heard about Bastion, did he say anything about Dane? Nothing at all. He informed me about a number of things. Apparently, Dane's reconstruction is playing out just like crime is. He spoke of a new king raising the banner of war and a charismatic young hero carrying it to battle. He compared King Phalias to me and a silver haired maiden to you. He suspected someone might be scheming, trying to manipulate Dane. Bastion seemed quite suspicious of it all. So Bastion went to Dane and tried to confirm his suspicions on that. There's also something else, too the Black Knight. What? Yep. The Black Knight, ladies and gentlemen. I'll never forget him. He was the one for the late Ash King Ashnar trusted. Encased in pitch black armor, standing tall with the crimson cape. When the Liberation Army fought at the capital, he was there. He sided with the silver haired maiden. The Black Knight, the man who killed my father. But I defeated him three years ago. I'm sure of it. At the very least, he couldn't have escaped when Nato's castle crashed down on him. But no, apparently he lived. His body wasn't even there, or the sword. So yeah, despite Ike slashing him up, he still lived. He might be a threat to Crimea. This is very important information. Thank you. So yes, part two is complete, and that took a lot longer than I expected. Well, I guess we're done. A great war begins, one that threatens to tear the land asunder. A hero sides with the Lagoos and Justice. The Maiden of Dawn fights for the Bjork and Dayan. Their armies will collide, while the flames of the Medallion burn brighter. Part 3, Intersecting Vows. Well, since I don't have enough time for... One more chapter. Um, screw it. You know what we're doing right now. One more chapter. Let's go. Three years ago, Crimea freed itself from Dayan tyranny. Its nobles used that freedom to berate the queen and scrabble for power. Disgusted with their greed and arrogance, Ike and the Grail mercenaries left the court behind and returned to work. Thanks to their efforts and to Queen Alincia's even-handed rule, Crimea has avoided a bloody civil war. Before departing the capital once again, Ike receives disquieting news from Queen Alencia. The Black Knight, the man who murdered Ike's father, has once again been seen in Dayan. 
The Queen's words hang heavy over Ike as he leads the mercenary group back to their headquarters. Yep, all right, part three. This is the big one right here. This is the, where the main story kicks off. And now we take control of Ike and the Grail mercenaries. He's back, though a lot of people pretty much knew he would be there. At least now we were needed. If you hadn't renounced your lordship, we wouldn't have to run ourselves like this to support ourselves. I'm just teasing you. I'd rather spend my time helping people. Yep. Oh, a visitor's here. Ranulf! Long time no see. How's everyone in Gallia? So, whatever. So, what's up, Ranulf? Anything to say? Yeah. Save your brothers. Alright, let's get to the point. War has come to us once again. Goddamn. The Laguz Alliance, which is made of Gallia, Minicus, and Kilvas, is setting out against Venyon. The situation has escalated very quickly. Escalade seems a little soft. So, can it tell us something? Can it uh, explain the story? Yeah, another narration! Raphael, eldest prince of the Heron clan, returns in the company of the Wolf Queen, Nyla, and the mage, Tormod, to tell a dire tale. The shocking story he relates ignites a terrible fury in the hearts of the Laguz. The assassination of the previous Benyon Apostle sparked the massacre of the Heron clan, as well as the burning of their home, the Serenus Forest. That murder and the resulting catastrophes were long thought to be the work of Dayan's former ruler, the Mad King Ashnard. Now, however, Prince Raphael, a survivor of the massacre, reveals that those directly responsible were none other than the senators of Benyon. Upon hearing this tale, the Hawk King Tibarn is consumed with an unspeakable rage. He shares this information with the Raven King Nisala and the Beast King Kanegis, and they form a Laguz alliance. Together with the Heron royal family, they send messengers to the leadership of Benyon, demanding an explanation from the senators. Benyon rebuffs their requests, however, denying any wrongdoing and refusing to investigate Raphael's claims, as if to emphasize their decision to silence the Laguz inquiries. The Empire goes so far as to murder an Alliance messenger. This callous act of arrogant defiance pushes the Alliance into declaring war upon the Benyon Empire. Gallia's sub-commander, Ranulf, considers the merits of attempting to simply overpower Benyon. He recognizes, however, that pitting brute force against Benyon's magic and tactical prowess will result in massive Alliance casualties. He decides to enlist the strength and knowledge of his old wartime ally, Ike, and the Grail mercenaries. Ike is an acquaintance of Benyon's apostle, however, and is at first reluctant to become involved in the conflict. Yet, when he considers the senator's cold-blooded murder of the Alliance messenger, he can feel the anger that burns in the Laguza's hearts. Determined to force the senators to answer for their crimes, he agrees to help the Lagu's Alliance. Get all that? So basically, the Laguz Alliance found out the truth about the Heron assassination, and now they themselves declared war. And who's our leader? Scrimier. Flag, flag, gear is closer now. But the fortress is near the Benyon border. We'll storm the city at night and then hit them fast enough to help the troops inside the fortress will have time to take their position. Finally, a chance to rend my foes. But I would rather have a head on fight. Why do we wait till nightfall like a pack of cowards? 
What's our role in this? I want the Grail Mercenaries to act as a guerrilla force. Take out the Fire Mages and Ballasta. They're really bad news for us. Let's go. He doesn't... Yeah, Scrimmier. This is Scrimmier. He's the uh, nephew of King Canigus. He doesn't think things through. This ought to end well. Sure about what? You're Bjork, I'm a goose. You want to take our side? They're in the right sides. The senators are dicks. They gotta pay, you know. They've had it good for too long. I don't have my... Again, I don't have, still don't have my phone with me, so let's just briefly go over the Grand Mercenaries. Okay, let's start. Great. Awesome. Good. Decent. Meh. Good. Amazing. Cool beans. Yeps. I like it. And great. There you go. That's all you need to know. No shop, no battle experience. Makes things easier. So let's just look at the uh, conversations and then we'll do the thing. Mm. Don't worry, man. You can talk. I feel bad about this whole thing, you know. I pulled you Bjork into the Lagoo's affairs. Not even your ding. Listen, you offered me a job and I took the contract. Simple like that. I told the others they could leave if they don't want to work with the goose, but everyone decided they'd rather stay. Even Soren, who even Soren and Shannon, who apparently are very racist towards them. And you don't need to worry about the Black Knight. That uh, we'll do with that when that time comes. Which will be a few chapters for now. Yeah. He's so powerful, I think he's gonna get himself in trouble. And he's the reason for my headache, too. Thanks, Ike. But I'll tell you about it some other time. Let's eat and catch some shut up before we set out for battle. See you at dinner. Hey. Yeah. Talk to me anytime you want. You're not alone, okay? The guy's gotta do something between battles. Talk to you later. <laughs> what a nice guy. Ah, I missed. To be honest, I didn't want you to come along. Well, you can't make me. Come on. Mike, I'm not making the same mistake with Dad. I don't want you to die while I'm somewhere else. It was a terrible thing. Yeah, remember the Path of Rain, the path of rain chaps, chair where Ike's dad, Greel, died? This was hit really hard, and well, it was actually really hard on the entire mercenary clan. Shinon and Gaitry temporarily left. Ike assumed command. Tanya lost what I'm guessing she had like a crush on Grail. It's a terrible time. Ah, Bjork Hero, how are you? Pretty good. Gifka and Randolph told me about you. You're a skilled warrior, right? I'm not a pushover. Don't be humble, my uncle King told me about you. Observe I can learn his skills, then you'll become even stronger. He said that? He did, I'm eager to watch you learn, watch and learn. L yes, lions are the strongest members of the Beast Clan. Oh, hey, Lethal Mordecai, you're here too. But they're not playable yet. Oscar, you're a chef? That's right. Great. I can't wait to see the looks on all these faces when they learn a Bjork made all this delicious food. Oh, you're embarrassing me. Yeah, seriously, Oscar's a chef. He's Brock. Look at him, eyes closed. Excellent chef. He knows what he's doing. And yeah, beasts eat a lot of food. And so does Ike apparently. He has the stomach of one too. <laughs> Especially the ribs and the steak. Let's hunt for more game. Probably not enough to go. I'll get more. Alright, we need to harvest an entire mountain. Don't worry, Titania, it'll get easier. Okay, let's do this. This is a short chapter. And an easy one, too. Fort Flagger, Benyon. Oh, this is lunacy. Look how meager our force is, especially considering our proximity to Gallia. General Septimus, sir. We're only making the rounds this evening. We don't need the bigger force. 
No, you're wrong. Even now, those bloodthirsty beasts are stalking us. I just know it. Believe me. The general, please calm yourself. You'll see this evening, the evening and yet we never had any... Enemy fire! It's the Galleon Beast! The superhumans are attacking us! What? See? I was right! Now what? Ooh. Get a load of this scene. This is a pretty cool scene. Run down all they're getting away! Advance! Oof. At least my dazzle is still intact. Okay. Gotta put on the battle line mission just for this turn. It's about I'll save right now, just save all the dialogue. Okay, so plan is simple. Rolf is going to jump on the ballistas. Okay, so first we have fog of war. Need to see what's up in head. A lot of people yeah, grand mercenaries is clear. Okay, well, let me just start over. So yeah, you can see here, it's clear, the Grail Mercenaries have been hitting the gym, especially Ike, who's pretty much one of the best units. Nowhere near as great as Har, but still great. Titania, being like the, um, Oife, not Jagen, which I claimed before, was great in Path of Radiance, and she's even better now. Soren. He's alright, but the thing is, I'm actually going to have to use Zorn for this chapter. Well, for this file. For very important reasons, which will become very clear later on. Because, again, there's a reason why I'm playing this second save file. Uh -huh. Jeez, nobody can hit anything right now. The accuracy is low and I don't like it. At least they can hit. At least they didn't miss. There are no hidden treasures here except a few coins, but I don't give a damn about those. No, I do not. Also, this theme is the best! The best battle theme! Right next to um, the Crimean Royal Army theme. Everybody's great. Much better than before. Okay, so, uh, let's see, who do I want to go here? Oh yeah, Shinon has the, uh, provoke ability, so now, kind of sorry, he's more than likely to get hit. Oh, I could have healed. Ah, uh, wasted experience. Don't worry, the other half, the Illagusa lines can deal with them. No problem whatsoever. Oh, battle time. What's gonna happen now? You have no chance of hitting, so why don't you just stop? Uh, boy. Oh, there's a killer land. Killer axe, I put it on. Okay. Can we get a crit, Boyd? Boyd, crit. Thank you! Thank you so much, Boyd. That's what I'm talking about. Ow. I'm pretty sure the um, Lagusa lines are pretty great to deal with them. Except for the fire mages, which might be a problem. Fire sages, I should say. But, don't worry. Scrimmier and Runoff can take care of them. I'll go over them when they go when they get here, but... I don't need to go over Scrimmier because we already know he's powerful as hell. He's a lion. What do you expect? And Randolph is good, but I'll explain him when we get to him. Don't need to worry about it. And now we just let them do all the work. Yeah, Randolph takes the big guy. Yeah. He's, oh. That's unfortunate. Okay, so yeah. 
Rolf mends the Ballista, takes down the Fire Sages, makes things a lot easier. Okay, that warrior gotta die too. It's amazing we have a lot of great powerful allies on our side. And more reinforcements. Alright, let's see. How are we gonna do this? Who's it gonna be? Uh, I'm gonna give Mia this kill. She deserves it more. Go, Mia, go! Your opponent's weak. Now is a good opportunity to strike and you can't die? What the shit? What are you doing? Ah, uh, whatever. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Wait, what about... Yeah, Iron Bow. No need to waste a kill on Bow, because we're shit on. Great master of crits, you know? There, at least he dodged. Like a certain purple haired swordswoman who shall remain nameless. Uh. Alf can't reach the ballista. Not yet, at least. Uh, what do I want to do? Daytree kills the. Yeah, kill him. Daytree is gonna be a beast of a tank. Oh, come on! Come on! It's getting ridiculous. I can't get any. I can't get a lucky break in this, no matter what I do. This is bullshit. That's it, Ike. Destroy! With gusto! Uh, okay, next. Target is either the Halberdier. <laughs> no, Rise. Rise is not much of a fighter, he's more of a healer. Ay, 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 how do we do this? So, and please adept. Please, that'd be great. If you can adept, that'd be great. Never mind. That base health is kinda lit bad, actually, not gonna lie. Okay. Rise can probably take him. No, he cannot. He can't take him. What the hell? Oh boy. God. Titania! You! You go, Titania. Like the magnificent redhead paladin you are. That's why Titania is great. Um, Oscar and Board, I'll have to double team this guy. Wait, what does he have? That's a pole axe. I'm using the short spear. Safety. Because I don't trust my luck anymore. Enough. Unless Boyd crits, I'm giving that to Rolf. Go ahead, Boyd. Make my decision for me. You chose wisely, Boyd. You chose very wisely. And so, Rolf will man the Ballista. Mr. Can, Mr. Rise can go heal people. Cycle of life. I mean, circle of life. Whatever. No, no, I don't need the men. That's a waste. Huh? 
What is that? Don't tell me that's a... Okay, that's a steel bow guy. Dodge! Please! Okay, that guy's probably gonna die. Jesus Christ, a warrior can dodge at all, can he? At least he dodged too, so it's not all one-sided. Oh, I'm surprised the fire sage didn't attack. <laughs> sure, leave his ha leave his fate in the hands of Skrimir. You'll get no sympathy from him. Yeah, fuck that warrior. And him too. So yeah, this chapter can be called Let Skrimir and all of his animal buddies do all the work while I can guys stay behind. Seriously? <laughs> Why is everybody missing? Am I cursed? Is it is it me? Am I a cursed LP or something? God damn it. <laughs> 